Hello, my friends, artists. So, episode 38 of Art Talk. And today I want to talk about the power of art. Yes, because art has an energy. And I mean handmade art. Art that comes through us. Because art is so important. It uplifts. It uplifts you when you express yourself and others through your art. And that's why humanly created art is so important. And I want to encourage you to keep going and to never give up. Everything comes from everything and everything is made from everything. And everything can be turned into everything else. Because that what which exists in the elements is composed of those elements. This is a quote Da Vinci used of Plato to capture the all oneness or the unity of all things. As artists, we can have those moments that we feel stuck, that we do not show up. And even that showing up in the studio is daunting. It can feel as if you completely lost your voice. The energy is stuck. So let me tell you a story. Very recently, I discussed art with someone who is not a professional artist, but since artificial intelligence comes up everywhere, thinks he is. I listened to a futurist who embraces it and sees how this will heal the planet. Breaking news. Artificial intelligence is not helping this planet. It will not help the planet restore its sources, the elements. Embracing nature does. Living in symbiosis with nature and all creatures, large or small, does. We are the planet. Hence this quote. And Leonardo da Vinci knew this. That's why his paintings gather so many people still. And that's not because some auction houses push the price up. This is because of the energy that comes off of his paintings. Painted by him. So what does that mean to art? And what has it to do with art in the first place? Well, everything... Because art and the creation is in symbiosis with nature, with the universe. All colors stem from nature. And even when we see combinations that are stunningly beautiful in nature, but not on the canvas, we acknowledge its wonder. We gaze. And I remember a quote I read from Leonardo da Vinci was gazing at the water till he became one with the water, just acknowledging that we are all one, that it is oneness. So to come back to the conversations, I felt completely energy drained, wanted to hang my palette in the tree and do, yeah, <laughs> what would I do? I felt lost my voice, I really thought I lost my voice, that everything grinded to a hole. But sitting in my chair, feeling that bout of despair, and we all have it, I started writing my morning pages. And that's a thing. If everything, this is the way to get out of that blocked energy. That would be the first tip. Whilst writing, I received a message from within, a message from my voice within. And it was very clear. Show the world your art. Show them that we are all one. The oneness that Plato already mentioned. The oneness that Leonardo da Vinci captured in his painting. That energy. That energy is not artificial. That energy is not technological at all. By the way, you will see art for me you haven't seen before. Cool, right? And you know, as artists, you and you and you, 
you channel quicker than artificial intelligence can because they learn from us. They take our brush strokes, they take our material, they take our way of painting, they take everything and put it in data. You only have to add a few words and then bang. But I also know it's a useless discussion because those things happen anyway. They happen and I'm not going to resist them. And by the way, <laughs> um, that idea that brought to me that I channel quicker than artificial intelligence can learn from or copy data made me chuckle. <laughs> and the same is for you. And by the way, if you are stuck, if you have this block of energy in you and you can't create and you feel resistance to go to your studio, to go to your easel, I recommend The Artist Way by Julian Cameron for when you feel that stuck. Feeling stuck as artist isn't a nice feeling. So as a tip, I would say go for a long walk in nature. That's the second tip because that helps. Breathe and suck in the sea or the trees in the forest or the park or both. There's always enlightenment when walking. I don't know about you, but my inspiration, my ideas, they flow. First when I'm on, 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 under the shower and second when I'm walking in nature. Sometimes it goes so quick, I quickly need to record them. Just say something in my phone before I forget. And I think, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that gorgeous? That's what we human beings can. And that's what we're here for as artists. We are here to create beauty. No matter your why, no matter your deep purpose, where it comes from, we are here for a purpose. Because the world needs art. The world needs that beauty. Because it represents the world. It represents who you are. And with that, it represents who other people are. It represents nature, the colors. It represents nature in still life, in, in um, landscapes, in every aspect. It has energy. And we are all energy. Nothing more than that. We are energy. And handmade art. I say deliberately handmade because it sounds a bit weird. But nowadays, you really have to say it. No, I paint this by hand. And I rather paint life also. I do not have models. Then I paint myself. But it is important that it comes through you. And I have so many examples. How I channeled something from that person that I was painting because I talked with them because I had a conversation, because I had the real connection. And that is what art does. That is what real art does. Um, the connection, by the way, with the universe is our right hemisphere. That is how great artists also receive their ideas. And... I will refer back to the quote of Leonardo da Vinci. He had the same. And of course, it was a different time. We didn't have EMF around us. We didn't have all the internet and all the things that interfere with our own electromagnetic fields. But playing is also a good thing. And that's the third tip. Play. Just go and play. Dance when you're alone. If you have kids, play with them. Play with their Lego. Play with our Play-Doh, whatever you want to do, play. Hence why Michael Jackson was so playful and quickly needed to go inside to record his idea before he lost it. He knew that he had to play and to fool around. As adults, we forgot to play. And an artist friend always shows her playfulness online. Joan Marie, I had her on the podcast as a guest. She is all full of fun and color. It uplifts and gives energy. And every time I think I need a dose, I go to Joan and watch her funny videos. 
go do that and watch her do her twirls. It's so enlightening. It's so full of honest love. It's not made. It's not marketing. No, it's personal. And that is, she shows herself completely who she is. How powerful is that? And that's what we need. So once in the studio, doing the act of painting, I get in flow. I lose track of time and do not see or hear anything around me. That's the state we always want to be in as artists. But we aren't. And when I re what I recently learned is that to embrace that you aren't. Because embrace it. Don't fight it. It happens. It is life. And the universe always wants us to have both sides of the equation. The light and the shadow. Don't think or worry. Those technocrats can alter that. Art remains healing, has huge energy when painted in real life, and a true joy to do so. And you can share that with the world. And the world needs more real art. That energy of healing and high vibrational energy is what we need. It's needed. And it's up to you, artists, to bring that to the world because there is a unity of all things. And that's what I wanted to talk about today because I deeply feel in my heart this is so important. Don't give up. Tone your skills. Become better. And put all your energy into that, into the beauty and not into the negativity. Create and share that with the world. Uplift the world with your purpose. Thank you all for listening. Um, I hope to have an interview next week with an author. I had her before. We go through a whole series from beginning to end. I still have to finish the last book, but um, yeah, five books in the series of the Sakados series. It's called, it's fantasy, it's dystopian. She creates her own, whole own worlds. And um, yeah, it's, it's a, a wonderful journey. But I'll talk with her uh, somewhere this week. And this is for the next podcast. Wishing you all a very good week. And you know, you find me on Instagram, Karen Makes Fine Art. Facebook, Karen Makes Fine Art. Uh, come and join me. And let's have beauty. Let's inspire. Bye.